journey of taste. Every cup of Lavazza coffee tells a story of people, care, dedication and hard work. A daily pleasure, available in increasingly different forms and blends, offering new intensity and aromas each and every day. This video shows the real meaning of this journey, which, for over 120 years, has been involving shared and deep-rooted traditions, a strong sense of belonging and excellent taste. Coffee comes from a precious berry that grows only in the tropical regions of the world and whose origins can be traced back to the Ethiopian highlands. It belongs to the Rubiaceae family of the Coffea genus. The ideal environmental conditions for coffee trees to thrive is an altitude ranging from sea level to over 1,800 meters. The major coffee producing countries are concentrated along the equatorial belt, covering wide areas in Central and South America, Africa and Asia. Here, Lavazza's professional coffee tasters visit the best plantations every year to select the finest coffee, ideal for creating premium blends. The most popular species of coffee are Arabica and Robusta. Coffea Arabica has flat, elongated beans and grows at an altitude of over 600 meters. The coffee made from this variety is characterized by sweet and aromatic organoleptic qualities. Coffea Robusta plants, whose beans are round and green-brown in color, grow on flatter lands and produce higher yields than the Arabica ones. Brews made with Coffea Robusta are particularly full-bodied and strong, with a spicy or chocolatey aroma. A good cup of coffee is a perfect harmony of flavors and aromas. The secret of Lavazza blends, mostly 100% Arabica or blends of Arabica and Robusta, still lies in its recipes. Arabica coffees provide sweetness and lightness, whereas Robustas are characterized by strength and full body. The selected coffee beans are planted in special seed beds at a depth of 1 to 2 centimeters. Only a year after, the coffea plants, about 40 centimeters high, conical in shape with flexible branches and bright green leaves, are transplanted into plantations. Three years after, they begin to produce coffee berries, but still require frequent and careful foliar spraying and pruning. At the end of the rainy season, white flowers begin to appear on the coffee plants. They have a scent reminiscent of jasmine and every year turn the landscape into a uniquely magic world. A few days after the first blooms, small green berries begin to appear. Only a few months later, these cherries acquire a deep red or yellow color, depending on the plant variety. The external skin of the cherries, called the exocarp, contains the pulp. Inside the pulp, there are two seeds wrapped in a silver skin, a golden yellow membrane that will be removed during processing. Two harvesting methods are commonly used, picking and stripping. Picking. Ripe berries characterized by a uniform bright red or yellow color are picked by hand, one by one. On the same harvesting day, processing begins. The skin and pulp are mechanically removed by means of a depulper. The coffee beans are then placed in large tanks filled with water and left to ferment for 12 to 36 hours to remove the mucilage, pulp, still sticking to the silver skin. Then, through repeated washing under running water, the coffee beans are thoroughly cleaned. They are then dried in the sun and by means of mechanical dryers to make them achieve a moisture content of 12%. The final step involves the removal of the silver skin as well as of any residual foreign body. The coffee obtained after this processing is called washed green coffee. In the stripping method, the berries are instead picked branch by branch when they reach medium ripeness. The red or yellow berries are spread out in the sun for about three weeks until completely dry. At this point, dehusking machines separate the coffee beans from the skin and pulp. 
The coffee obtained after this processing is called natural green coffee. The coffee beans are selected in compliance with internationally defined standards according to the physical and organoleptic properties of the coffee. A densimetric selection is carried out when the coffee beans are selected mechanically according to weight and dimensions, whereas an optical selection takes place when the process is based on colour. Manual selection, which is just as accurate, is used for the finest qualities of coffee. Lavazza's tasters check compliance of the selected coffee batches with the established physical and taste characteristics by selecting only the best coffee beans, which, when roasted, will guarantee balanced taste, delicate aroma and intense pleasure on the palate. At this stage of the journey, the coffee bags, weighing 60 kilos each, are loaded onto containers and shipped to Italy. On arrival at the Lavazza factory, they undergo further analysis at the internal laboratory, as well as organoleptic evaluation by the tasters. At the Lavazza factory, by mixing various coffees of different origins, the various blends are created to cater to any needs of the company. The blends are then roasted, ground, packed and stored in the Lavazza's automated warehouse. After many months, Lavazza's journey that began in the countries of origin ends with the pleasure of tasting a unique cup of coffee, thanks to the cooperation and hard work of all the people involved in this long process. Ever since 1985, a cup of Lavazza coffee has owed its success to a consistent product quality over time, along with an excellent flavour.